What if the future of mixed reality didn't look like a bulky headset, but more like a featherlight pair of glasses you could wear all day? Meet Meta Puffin, sometimes called Loma, Meta's experimental attempt to make augmented and mixed reality feel normal, useful, and actually wearable. No heavy helmet, no clunky controllers, just glasses that blend the digital into your day. Today we'll break down what Puffin aims to be, how it's built, who it's for, and why it matters, all based on leaks and industry whispers. Unlike Meta's Quest line, built around standalone gaming, Puffin is meant for everyday mixed reality, streaming, messaging, productivity, and casual immersion. Think of it as an XR companion, not a gaming rig. Puffin's big idea is move the heavy stuff off your face. The glasses hold optics and sensors. The brains, the battery and processors live in a small external device people call the compute puck. Pocketable power, ultra lightweight frames. This thing's supposed to be an ultra lightweight headset designed to be as comfortable as possible with power offload to a Tether compute puck, similar to the Apple Vision Pro. Leaked specs suggest the glasses aim for under 110 grams. That's closer to regular eyewear than any VR headset today. They would use pancake lenses for a slim profile and rely on pass-through cameras so you can see the real world with digital overlays. Controls? No physical controllers. Puffin leans on eye tracking and hand tracking for navigation. Point with your gaze, select with a gesture. If it works smoothly, that's a major usability win making the device feel more natural. There are even whispers of future holographic optics, but that's further down the line and unconfirmed. The compute puck is crucial. Instead of packing everything into the headset, Meta separates compute and battery into this puck you carry or clip on. It lets the frame stay light and comfortable while still delivering powerful processing when you need it. It also opens a modular approach. Upgrade the puck over time without changing your glasses. Puffin isn't aimed at hardcore gamers. Think people who skip VR because it's heavy, awkward, or impractical. This device targets fans of immersive media, remote collaboration, and anyone who wants virtual monitors or hands-free AR in daily life. If you binge shows on a tablet, work across multiple windows, or want quick immersive video calls, Puffin is designed for you. This puts Puffin directly against Apple's Vision Pro, but with a different emphasis, comfort, wearability, and everyday practicality. Analysts expect a premium price. Rumors point to around the $1,000 range, but that's only a guess. Now, the Wall Street Journal is claiming that this device will be targeted at under $1,000, which will be a major competitive strike to the Vision Pro and Android XR. And considering the tech specs that have been leaked, that's a very reasonable price. Don't expect Puffin on shelves tomorrow. Reports say the earliest launch window is 2027. The project is still experimental, Timelines could change or features could evolve. Now, Upload VR has reported that this thing will be running Horizon OS and it will be ready around 2026. Originally, some people thought it was going to be 2027. It's looking like we're going to be seeing the Quest 4 around that time. Meta has been tight lipped. Our best source of details comes from leaks and analyst snippets, so take specifics with caution. But the concept is clear make XR light, natural, and part of daily life. Imagine these small real-world moments. On the commute, streaming a show on a virtual big screen without blocking the world around you. At a cafe, stretching your laptop into three virtual monitors for a quick multitasking session. In a meeting, sharing spatial content and notes without pulling out extra hardware. At home, a hands-free recipe overlay while you cook. Of course, there are hurdles. Battery life in a puck, thermal management, reliable hand and eye tracking in busy environments, and convincing users to wear something new every day. 
privacy and software ecosystems will also determine success, hardware alone won't be enough. If Meta nails the basics, comfort, natural controls, and useful apps, Puffin could be the first XR device people actually reach for instead of leaving in a drawer. It's a small step from niche to mainstream. Puffin is ambitious, ultra-light hardware, a pocketable compute hub, and a vision of mixed reality that fits into your daily routine. It's not guaranteed to arrive exactly as leaked, but it's one of the most interesting directions in XR right now. Want updates as more leaks and announcements drop? Drop a comment. Which everyday use would make you buy these glasses? Light as glasses, powerful like a hidden computer. Metapuffin might be what mixed reality looks like when it finally goes mainstream.